before we get started, today we've got a special guest. Single lady, reveal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself, who are you? I'm Steph. Oscar's Minecraft girlfriend. Yeah, that's about right. So what we're doing today is you're going to build your dream house and I'm going to transform it because I like to show off. But before we do get into that, we've got a little surprise which we can finally announce. We've got merch. I've got merch. It's got little design on the side of the arm. It's got design on the front. And... Got a little liner on the back as well of all the builds. Look at that. We originally came up with the idea about like a year ago and then for your birthday. Like, wow, amazing. She made up some oh. some mock-up designs, didn't you? And the jumper as well, which uh, Epic. Yeah, same sort of thing. So that was basically the prototype. Those were the original designs, and we kind of enhanced them and spent a lot of time designing them, and that's what we've currently got now. Yeah, pretty amazing. So not only do we have t-shirts, we've also got hats, which actually you've got one over there. You might as well show it off. And we've also got some face masks, and they're all up on the website, so you can go check them out now. It's on represent.com slash store slash Trixieblox. Like I said, I'll leave links down below so you can go visit it. I'm also going to be doing a little competition with it where submit a picture of you wearing some piece of merch, and I'll select one of you, and the winner will get their world, their Minecraft base, transformed by me. Or me, if you prefer. Or obviously. if you want, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, now that we've done a little plug, um, you, need to, you need to leave. Yeah. This is my channel now. Build your dream house no, and... I'm going to lose all your subscribers. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in a bit. Quite a while later. Look at that, life. damn. I know. I'm quite I'm quite proud of it. You yeah. wanna live there? How much money do you need to make? <laughs> I mean it's YouTube. YouTube! YouTube! <laughs> this is the but first yeah, this, this is, is the first big thing I've done. Yeah. yeah. I tried to learn from some of what you My tips and tricks. Yeah. Oh a lovely little bridge. Oh yeah. what a massive bay window. Look at that. You've deliberately made this huge, haven't you, to make my life a living hell. Yeah, I added some chandeliers. I like it. That one actually looks like a like a chandelier. It looks, yeah, it looks I mean, decent. it's a bit it's blocky, but it's Minecraft. So. It's blocky. You're in Minecraft. Exactly. Yeah, I can't really complain about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so a little staircase. We have. We also have a greenhouse. Ooh, look at this lovely little yeah. greenhouse. How cute. Um, added some little plants and all that jazz. I'm really navigating this. Room, <laughs> I was like, you can't get through the door. I'm bumping into the door. It's fine. I'm a pro. And you've chucked around some cherry blossom trees as well. Yeah. Look at them. They're all right. I like them, okay. they're cute. Even here, for example, I wanted to have proper lanterns, but it was kind of difficult to do without making them massive and taking away from the bridge. So we've got the switches just on top and nothing around them, but you can sort that out. Well, we're in the earlier version of Minecraft, so you don't have a lot of options, really. There's, yeah. a, lot there's a lot less blocks. When I realised there were no lanterns, I wanted to cry. <laughs> Look at the waterfall here. I didn't show you that. The oh, yeah, this waterfall goes into the river. And it leads all the way down here. Pretty epic. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I love it. That's sick. I'm glad you like it. I'm, I'm just scared as to how big it is and what you've got me into, really. That's all. I mean, did you think I was going to give you something easy? That's boring. Obviously not. <laughs> got to give the people what they want. I guess I'll head off and... Is it my time? Right. Let let's see. Magic. Let's see what we can do with this then, shall we? This is vanilla Minecraft, and now I'm going to change it so it looks like something out of The Sims. All right, get out of it. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, so the first steps are done. Basically, all you see me do is I've changed out this bottom section of wall for a more supported structure, so I went for some cobblestone. Well, custom cobblestone. I've started doing these wooden supports strutting out of the actual building because this is going to hold and support a tiny little roof, which is going to connect into it. Here's that little custom cobblestone block that I've made, and I've just basically gone all over the place with it. And I've also done this entrance way. Now, it's not done, but I've got the main foundations of it sorted, so we've got these big stone pillars here, got some wood supports in it as well, and it's like a double featured roof i don't know how else to really explain it but i i'm working off of a reference image basically and in the reference image it's got these two separated roofs on top of each other and it looks pretty unique anyway let's get back on with building Right, I finished off this small slanted roof and it's going to go all the way around. And as you can see, I've also got some custom windows in here as well now. Either side of the window, they've got these shutters. Trying to stick to that Japanese-y theme, of course, because the whole building is a giant Japanese mansion. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? God, I regret doing these staircases so much. They took way too long. They look good, so I guess it was all worth it in the end. We've done the same as what we've done on the front of the house to the back of the house with this roof and the stone. And we've also changed these staircases that lead out from the second level of the building. They were originally straight, but I decided to curve them so that they kind of hug this big bay window section, as well as trying to stick to the theme of not being able to do this kind of stuff in regular vanilla Minecraft, so I have to make it look a little bit unique, you know? Oh, also, I made these custom little sliding doors, which which are pretty nifty. But yeah, things are starting to come along, so let's continue to the next section. Thank you. 
Right, we're really making some progress here now. Look at this, it's all coming together. So of course, I've copied the same windows that we've got down these two previous levels to the top level. And pretty much this whole middle building is complete. As you can see on this top level, we've got this banister and little decking that goes all the way around the building. Originally, there was a balcony here, but I decided to make the balcony go all the way around the building just so you can have the ability to walk all around. Oh yeah, and we've also got some large sliding doors at the top here because of course we've got to have them they're, they're a necessity so yeah pretty cool things are really coming along now i think I am so chuffed with this, honestly. Look at this little guy, he's so cute. Honestly, this came out a lot better than I originally planned for. I didn't think it was gonna end up looking this good. <laughs> so if you can't tell what it is, obviously it's a Japanese dragon. These dragons don't have wings. They've got four limbs. They kind of walk on them. Very long bodies, obviously. Almost like a snake, to be honest. They got whiskers and all sorts. Now, because it's obviously a Japanese house, I knew I wanted to do something Japanese-y themed, whether it's a statue of some sort. So what better thing to go for than a Japanese dragon? And incorporate it into the fountain as well. It's just oh, really happy with how this one turned out. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? We've also got this front door looking very nice. Working door, look at that. Lovely jubbly. And I did this little pattern on front as well. Either way, if you've been enjoying the build so far and you want to get this world for yourself, then we're going to do another light goal. You guys have been absolutely crushing it recently with the light goals. The last few videos has just been getting so much support and it's been amazing. So thank you for that. But if you want to get this world download for yourself, then I'm going to need you guys to do a little something for me and get this video to 60k likes. If you can get this to 60k likes, I'll release it for free on my Patreon. And yes, you can release it for free on Patreon. You don't need to subscribe or anything like that. It's free. You just get the link down below and it'll be on the main page. But this big Japanese mansion could be yours. So 60k likes and I'll release the world download. Anyway, let's continue where we left off. things are starting to not look like Minecraft. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So this was like the main feature of Steph's house. And of course, in vanilla, you can only do so much with curves. So I knew I had to do this justice. And that's why we've got this massive curved section of the building. It's continued the roof from the main part of the building all the way around with the same little supports. It's got some big log supports down below with some custom cobblestone down here for some extra support. Right now that we've got the shell done, though, it's time to finish it. So we've got to add some little supports in here 
here with a big bay window to let a lot of light in. Right, I finally finished this window with a lot of finicky fiddling. Took a little while, I'll admit, to get the right shape and what I was going for. I tried using a lot of the in-game tools that come with this mod. Using this mod, you're able to automatically make cylinders and spheres and all sorts of different shapes. But it wasn't really working for me, so I had to go in and manually do it, which took a little bit longer than expected, but I'm happy with the result. Anyway, big bay window done. It's time to move on. I've just capped off and finished the building with this massive roof. So yeah, now the main building is technically mostly done. I tell you what, it is looking decent. Really coming together, really liking how it looks. I really wasn't sure what to do with the roofing of this circle bit. So in the end, I decided to just flatten it off. I thought it was best to do that. I thought it would look a little bit weird if I decided to continue to peek up into the main roof bit. So I decided to leave it flat. Tell you what guys, this, <laughs> this build is a struggle, <laughs> but we move. Right, things are really, really starting to come together now. Look at this. Look at this, guys. This is so sick. I don't usually say that lightly. This is what we've done with the front entrance here. I'm just really chuffed with it, honestly. This was a stone platform here originally, and I've made it into two individual little gardens. And all I've done to the brickwork here is just curve it around. Obviously, the main features are what we've just done. We've got these little stone lanterns down here and in the grass as well. And the main features, obviously, these massive stone lanterns. I don't, I can't remember what they're exactly called, but they're these giant Japanese stone lanterns and yeah they just look so cool I wasn't really sure what to put here I knew I had to do some sort of lantern but I just couldn't decide what would look good I decided to stick to the same stone pillar base that Steph originally had and just kind of work up from there and instead of having actual glowing lanterns I thought I would just make this structure instead without it glowing because we've already got these little ones glowing I thought it'd be a bit much if they were glowing as well they really complete the front of this building but it's time to move on We've just done the towers on either side. Well, I did one and then I copied and pasted it over to the other side. Using little tiles, you're able to copy large sections and then rotate them in other directions and paste them in, which is very handy and would have taken this build a lot longer if I didn't have that. So I think next we're going to work on this interior and kind of finish things up a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy with the interior. I'm not going to furnish things because that will take too long. Instead, what I'm going to do is work on this grand staircase here, work on this platform for the second level and maybe tweak it a little bit so that it kind of flits a little bit better with the house. Else. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? We'll 
I think that would just about do for the interior. Obviously, if I had the time, I would furnish it, but this build has already taken me about 50 hours and I can't spend any longer on it. I have to move on. But like I said, I made a few adjustments. So I raised this section up. We've got a little staircase that leads down to the original level. This section is raised up and the staircase is a lot taller now because I wanted to reach these top doors up here. But I've connected it all the way around so you can go down the stairs here. And I've also floored the bay window off as well. So you've got another little space in the middle of it that you can use rather than just having it all be open. And then lastly, as you can see, I've done some little banisters down here and a little staircase just coming down outside. I decided to leave this open. I really wasn't sure what to do with it as Steph had it open in her version as well. And I didn't want to change things too immensely from the concept. So I decided to just stick with a little staircase down the middle. Right, the last few things we need to do, we need to sort out some pathways here, do the bridge, do the greenhouse, and then I think we're about done. Right, it's done. You can come back now. Are you ready for the grand reveal? Can you up a bit, please? Yes, sorry. Thank you. Right, are you ready to see the transformed mansion you made? You actually haven't seen how this looks, really, to be honest. So this is a bit of a surprise. So, ready? Uh -huh. Oh my god, the god. lag. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, those like, oh yes. my god, those little temples are so cool. So, yeah, we got a lot to go around. Wow. You, you know those big lanterns things, so I turned those into these, they're Japanese stone lanterns, so I think. <laughs> I mean, look, you can't make this in normal Minecraft, can I know, you? But so. That is so cool. Got a little staircase here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's coming out the mouth! So oh that's, my god, that's amazing. That's your little fountain. That's like the little the, the design on the face mask. Exactly. Buy the merch. <laughs> Buy the merch. I thought I would oh, try and incorporate it into it because it, it kind of worked with it. So I made this little ender dragon. Japanese ender dragon. Well, hey. And kind of worked it into the fountain. So yeah, it looks wow. pretty nifty, doesn't it? I love that. I absolutely love that. Yeah, it's pretty That's sick. so cool. Apart from that, you've got some freshly cut grass. Nice little lawn. Thanks for mowing the grass. <laughs> I'm so glad you mowed the Did lawn. Did my chores. That's much more impressive than the dragon fountain and the temple statues. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> this, this is the important bit right here. I thought I'd mention, this was your idea in the first place. I didn't come up with this idea. This was Steph's idea. So I, I'm not trying to <laughs> show off. This was my idea, this yeah. Is, this is just... I was like, I'll... Uh, I'll come on the channel and scare all your viewers away. It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's you a can woman. play Minecraft and have a girlfriend. <laughs> True. Minecraft girlfriends do exist. So we're using the mod. Whoa. You can... Oh my God, that door is so cool. Open the doors. That's so cool. So the only bit that I didn't manage to transform because I ran out of time was the chandelier. I mean, so... I don't think you need <laughs> Look how beautiful. Perfect. It fits in perfectly. It's already perfect. And it's floating as well. Even more perfect. Oh. <laughs> Coming down the back here, you've oh, got wow. this big bay window. And oh. I decided to turn the bottom bits into these log pillars here. Sick. Pretty cool. Yeah, the stairs as well. Obviously did mine straight. But I was going to say, curved, yeah, the stairs. Got that, that little curvature vibe. going into it. Just a little simple bridge going mm -hmm. over to this, this Tory. Are they called I've... Tories again? I can't remember. Someone will tell us in the comments. Yeah, tell Comment me. Comment below what that is. Tell me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Coming up to the little greenhouse. Oh, I actually, you didn't see this in the time lapse because the recording messed up, but got a little so little greenhouse. When you open the custom I know, it's, like, it's, oh, it's yeah. so nice, isn't it? I did this really quickly because I was running out of time, so I just made one of these shelves and copied around. But you got a few, few plants in here for the greenhouse. Had Very to give cute. it a little bit of life, you know? Yeah. I love that. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. What do you think of think your I've... new mansion, your new Japanese inspired house? I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I was never expecting it to turn out this cool. Mm, I know. It's well, this cool. basically, I'm amazing and, and you're terrible. <laughs> is what, that is what you're trying to say. Like the video if my build's better. Okay, yeah. I'll tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> Get it no to a like. like it. Get it to the like, girl. <laughs> yeah, this is this has been your little transformation of your world. Now you can actually go and live in your dream house. Because I'm definitely not going to be able to buy it in real life. So, damn it. <laughs> I 
appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it, bro. 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 <laughs> bro. Well, I want to do this again, to be honest. With well, if that's the case, you guys know what to do. I've already said it once. Get this video to 60k likes and we will do this again. And you'll also get the world download for free. Now that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Pretty epic. <laughs> Jesus. I love it. Thank you. But apart from that, that's, that's, that's about it really, isn't it? Thank you for helping me on this video today. You can go check Steph out on her Instagram. I'll leave it down below in the description so you can go stalk her. But yeah, if you want to see it again, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time oh yeah buy the merch buy the merch do it <laughs>